Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we're doing more of this godforsaken hellhole of a mansion and shit. Right? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I hear that. You give a get a hell yeah. And yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, nothing's nothing's changed. We're we're still here doing. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is just gonna lead me to that fucking same room. Oh, no it didn't. Who's this asshole? I like the look of this prick. I don't like this hot shot. Alright, we're gonna hope that he's got like a charmeleon or some shit so we can get some fucking leveling done and shit. I'm still pissed about the fucking pelt thing. I'm not gonna lie. Ah, fuck that shit is all I've got to say. And of course, this guy's got a fucking electrode! Urgh. How do we deal with that? How do we deal with that? Oh, um... <laughs> While I was grinding, I, I didn't mention this. You fucking prick. I didn't mention this, but, um... I put Aerial Ace on Granker, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I, I forgot to say something about that. I was all excited. I was all sorts of excited about, uh, about fucking Who Garden and all that shit, so I, I forget to say something. But, he has Aerial Ace now, so in the event that he needs it, I mean, he, I don't know, Aerial Ace something. Because, like, three quarters of the fucking Pokemon in existence can learn that move. Same thing with Dig. It's ridiculous. And Brick Break. Those are like the most utilitarian moves ever in existence. But ooh, 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 yoink, Carbos, motherfucker. That's a door. Where does that door go to? I'm afraid to go in there. At least back out and I can't get back. Oh, motherfucker, are you serious? Are you serious? Are you... Did I just find the way out? before I went and fucking did whatever I needed to do in this place. I'm pretty sure that's what just happened. <laughs> that's... That's kind of funny, but it isn't. Yeah, who wouldn't press a switch, right? I'm just pressing all sorts of super secret switches. Ooh, it just rolled off the tongue there, didn't it? Super secret switches. And now we're gonna get caught in this fucking thing again. And Shit. Uh huh. That's right. Um. Yeah. So I say um a lot. I have to fucking name a Pokemon that. Just because it's fitting, right? Alright. What are we going to cry chop? Um. Oh, he did learn cross chop too. She did learn cross chop. Sorry, Gregor. But, um, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna hang on the cross chop. If it learns, like, Sky Uppercut or some shit like that, I don't, I'm not sure if it does. Probably, I don't know. I don't know if that was a thing back then or not, but if it does, I'll probably just replace cross chop cause with, with that, because I like reliability. I'm not looking for that home run ball and all that shit all the time. You know, I want consistency and reliability when it comes to that sort of shit. So that's really what I'm looking for. Um... So, yeah, and obviously defense, you know that. I have been fucking preaching that shit for the longest time anyhow, so. Alright, back into the basement, which looks rather ominous. Nice nice floor, you know. What is this, cherry wood? This is gorgeous. I'm just, just kidding. I, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Alright, you. Oh my god. Hey, guy! Where am I? Now? You're at your mom's house. Right? Burglar Lewis. Lewis! You thieving little shit! Anyhow. Um, yeah. Growling this cute. I did use one not too long ago. I think I mentioned this. I did use one not too long ago when I played through Gen 5. Or, I should say, when I finished Gen 5 for the first time. I started it and played through like three quarters of it and lost interest when it first came out, and then like a year and a half later, I was like, fuck it, I'll just play it and get it over with. Which I did, and I used the fucking... 
Arcanine. And surprisingly, in that game, it wasn't very useful. I was a little upset. I mean, because it's got fucking ridiculous stats. I mean, it's a hell of a Pokemon. It really is. But, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, it was one of those things where it just had such a niche throughout the course of the game that it just wasn't as useful as it should have been. Which was unfortunate. Like I said, it was, it was fun. And it doesn't have the widest... You know, the best move pool. I'm not saying it's a bad Pokemon, but it just didn't have a great move pool for me anyway. There were things that I used way more. That was when I was using like Arken and stuff like that too. And those things were fucking shit all up. So I had other I had other things doing things, you know, and then yeah, you just kind of you know, was there when there's a plant type and shit once in a while. Which wasn't very often. Same thing with fucking water types. You didn't see very many water types or anything. Or actually, let me take that back. You didn't see very many things for a plant to be effective against. Since why I kind of fell out of love with Snivy and shit like that. Although, of course, now with Snivy having, you know, the ability to learn a bunch of shit, plus TM being relearnable and stuff like that. Because I think I think they actually increased. Are we learnable? Reusable. I think they actually increased the amount of things that Snivy could learn. I think in Gen 6. I'm not sure. I think though. But I mean it's it's pretty useful too if if you get around to using it and diversifying your portfolio. See what I did there? That's right. Dropping some fucking financial knowledge on you. Mm, he's gonna kill my fucking Hmm. It has not been a good day for Pokemon. And unfortunately, because of the way things are kind of going, I'm... Well, I guess tomorrow is only Friday, right? I don't know. You wouldn't know. This will fucking go up like a week and a half later or some shit. Something like that. Anyway. It's... You know, I think... Yeah, yeah, today's only Thursday, so... Yeah. Tomorrow's well, Friday, so therefore, I mean, it's not really super behind on recording or anything like that, but it just feels like it. Especially since I was planning on doing some recording yesterday and and all that shit and blah 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 happened and, you know, I still have yet to do new Enemy Front, which I should be doing. I think I'm going to do it tomorrow. I think I'm just going to finish up all the Pokemon that I need to record for the next week or so tonight and say, fuck it! Do the rest of that shit tomorrow, because that's that's my my record schedule. Pretty much Thursdays and Fridays, and sometimes Saturdays if I need to. This fucker paralyzed me. God damn it. <sighs> yeah, so just not not really having luck with this shit. It's really been fucking me over in this this LP. Usually, usually, isn't this bad, but for whatever fucking reason, the Pokemon gods, the little Arceus in the sky, thinks it's funny to fuck my life up with paralyzes, poisons, and all that shit, and never let me return in kind the ass kicking that I receive from said status effects. Hence why everything under the sun has been getting burned. Mm hmm. Tell you, that's some good shit. Yeah, Oh, Oh my God, that ain't gonna do shit for damage. Cause ha ha ha, one. Ah yeah, fuck you, Electrode. My Electrode beggar. Did you catch that right? Uh, yeah, ah uh, yeah. Now your mind's wandering. Now you know what I'm getting at. You're like ah, oh, that fucker made a cock joke. That's right. That's right. That's right. Never want to get into a uh, electrode uh, comparison. I don't know conversation with me. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. I kind of got stuck halfway through. I just stopped like a turd. Do you hate when that happens? When like trying to shit, then like halfway through, you're like, oh, oh, wait, no, nope, taking a break. That doesn't happen to you, no. Oh, uh, good for you then, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Come on, get your fucking rubber. Ah, oh, I hate rubber duckies. I hate rubber. I hate how fucking Vulpix is so fucking fast. This is horse shit. 
This is ponyta shit, damn it. And of course, you know, it's like, oh, I don't know where I'm at or what I'm doing. I'm just gonna hit myself, because that seems like the appropriate thing to do. Right? I mean, doesn't that, like, not make any sense? Does that make sense to anybody? I mean, if, if, if it does make sense to you, please explain it to me because I don't, I don't get how confusion hurts yourself. I mean, I can understand confusion in like using a different move or something like that, or doing just stupid shit. I totally get that, but like, oh, I'm confused. Let me just fucking punch myself in the nuts and see what happens. Like, yeah, I mean, that's, that, that just doesn't, it doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, what are we teaching our kids when we let them play Pokemon? And that's the world that they're fucking engaged in. Think about that. Mm-hmm. That's right. Now, what can you be? Every time there's, like, a fucking Pokeball on the desk, it's gotta be a Pokemon, right? Ooh, I found one. One secret key. Uh, ooh, solar beam, motherfucker. Now, now, where do we go? Oh, wait. Is this is this is this secret key for the fucking gym? I think it is, isn't it? I think it is. I'm pretty sure this motherfucking key is for the motherfucking gym. God damn! That sneaky's own bitch. Which means, which means this: we're not gonna be the level that we need to be when we go into the place, into the gym. Which is gonna suck. But, but, in theory, in theory, we should be okay if we can, and we can beat up on his, I'm pretty sure that's what we're supposed to get in here. I mean, there's nowhere else to really go. Where's my, I have an escape rope, some, there you are. I have fucking six escape ropes. Holy shit. Holy shit. Let's spin around real quick and get out of here. Because, yeah. Let me guess. Yeah, that's what that. Yep. Yep. Mystery solved. Yeah, if anyone knows what that's from. Ha ha ha. Please tell me. Because that's, that's a good show. Anyway. Um... That's it for this episode. I think next episode, we'll just go ahead and start clearing out the trash in there. And we're gonna get as close to Blaine as we possibly can and do what we've been doing. Just clear out the trash and then take the guy out the next episode. Um, if you made it this far on YouTube, you know what, man, my voice kinda correct there. You know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching. And remember, pants are optional. <laughs>